kick to the line, and finally McIntosh finds some room to get it out. There's a pass. Now here goes Lahid in alone. Marcus Lahid scores! A broken play, and Marcus Lahid able to scoop it up and fire it under the glove. Josh McKenna got back into the play, broke that up. Robertson to McIntosh across the line. McIntosh tried to put it in front there. There's a stick at the last second. And I think that was Donahoe who got that one. There's a pass, rebound for Freddie score! Rimmer waiting for the loose puck. Scrambling play in front of the net. The Blues found the... Now it's off the boards, comes back to Bonsteel. Bonsteel decides not to shoot, gives it to Clark, gives it back over to Crisp. His wrist shot, they score! I don't know if anybody touched it, but I think Crisp may have found a, a spot just under the blocker of Dylan Roach, and we have a 2-2 game on the power play goal, 14-0-2. Makes a nice play, a couple of passes, and out to center ice, Taylor, his pass. Knocked down by Robertson, but right under the stick, course! Donahoe was able to take that rolling puck and just slap it inside the post, and we've got a 3-2 Oakville lead with 2.14 remaining. Rimmer, Rimmer will shoot. There's a deflection in front. Loose puck again. They whack away at it. Second chance off a leg and wide to the far side. Five seconds left. McIntosh trying to get it in front. Not going to do it, and the buzzer's going to go, and the Oakville Blades are going to upset Collingwood 3-2. And they come out and celebrate with goaltender Gavin McCarthy, who can put that up on the wall as uh, his game of the year so far because that two points belongs to him because there was really no challenge from the Blades other than the fact that McCarthy wouldn't let anything by him.